We continue our coverage tonight on an early morning fire in Beaufort that left a 15 year old dead along with two pets. That fire happened around 830 Saturday morning on Courtney Lane off of Taylor's Farm Road. WNCT's Camila Barco joins us from our Jacksonville studio. Camila, you spoke with the school district to find out how they're coping with this tragic loss. Well, Ken, the Carteret County School District has confirmed the 15-year-old boy in that fire is Mason Caras. He is a student. He was a student at East Carteret High School. The principal tells me he was very well liked and a fantastic student. But a neighbor tells me about the moments right before the fire and how he almost risked his own life to save Kara's. I broke my heart. It just, it's still, it's just, it's hard. David Parker is still saddened by the loss of his neighbor's 15 year old son. He was a very nice person. He was very, very kind. On Saturday morning, Parker had taken his dog out for a walk when he noticed smoke coming from inside his neighbor's home. First, I thought it was something burning outside. Then, uh, the second time I seen the fire, I seen uh, flames coming up out of the building. His wife, Teresa, called 911 while David ran to the home to see if someone was inside. Tried to get through the door and I couldn't. And uh, anyhow, I took a shovel and bust out the window. But the uh, smoke was so bad, uh, there ain't no way in the world I could get in. Inside the home was East Carter High School freshman Mason Caras. Great kid, talked to him in the halls in the morning. We usually chatted at lunch. Um, he was quiet, kind of kept to himself, but he had a, a strong group of friends. Today, school and district officials came together providing support for those dealing with the tragic loss of Caras. We had extra counseling on staff as well as some school psychiatrists um, on staff to help um, reach out to students that, uh, that needed it. They are talking about their feelings. They're doing a lot of things that, that we train on how to do. It. While people grieve in different ways, the school district wants people to know they're available to the students and parents. Now the cause of the fire is still under investigation, but the Parkers are asking for your help. They have set up a GoFundMe account to help with the families and their expenses. Live in Jacksonville, Camila Barco, 9 on your side. Thanks, Camila. As for that GoFundMe, a neighbor started the page for the family. The goal is set to raise $10,000 to cover funeral costs and help that family rebuild their lives.